Hello guys, welcome to watch my video. Today I will learn, uh, I will tell what I learned today. And we finished this news about satellites, about SpaceX, Starlink satellite installation. It's about uh, satellites, Starlink satellites. And the last paragraph, I finished that and later I read this tweet. Maybe I, here I can, uh, I mention that. Here uh, we have a professor Mark Green. May probably my pronunciation is not accurate. And he is a senior scientific advisor from the European Space Agency (ESA) and inf uh, infrared astronomer. Uh, he tweeted mm. like it's a matter about asymmetric time scale and schedule we can say that there's two major one is scientists uh, are used to conduct to make through old studies uh, comparative studies over the years for a long time the other thing is industry simply uh, continue and launch 60 new satellites every fortnight fortnight means uh, 15 or 15 days or two weeks every two weeks uh, industry launch 16 new satellites I think that's too much and we mentioned about professor said sir he said remark means said tell tell something like that and he said I think uh, at this point, I mean, I think he will focus on this topic. We we can move rapidly, and we can so wait for regular environments, and we need to convince SpaceX because this uh, station is the uh, for SpaceX. X uh, best interest, best profit, uh, and if SpaceX move rapidly and solve problem quickly, we can say SpaceX gained many things at this point. So, and here he sent to it. Actually, it was the tweets already, and we talked about it. And Ethan uh, Siegel also say that uh, we need to talk about a mega constellation of satellites and their impact of astronomy. It's a, I think AS two three five. It's a satellite and it has an impact effect on astronomy. And he wrote something about that. So. You can check it. Uh, that check that video, and I translated all the sentence in Turkish. Now we will talk about TED talks. Here I start here to come here. Okay, let's start to talk. If we eat uh, glycemic high glycemic index, right, uh, like uh, crackers and white bread, uh, the glucose in our blood sugar. Uh, in our blood increase quickly and fall down uh, quickly but if we need foods high fiber like vegetables fruits and whole grains these are indi indigestible uh, beta bonds beta bonds is hard to divide hard to digest but alpha bonds they are easy to digest so uh, because these are difficult to uh, separate and they let your system slowly release glucose into your blood so that's important that's the healthy one and those foods uh, has a lower glycemic index because uh, the white bread has a high glycemic index here and soda and bread white bread because they are not healthy 
but uh, this eggs, cheese, and meats has lowest glycemic index, so they are healthy. They has many many beta bonds, so that makes our uh, gluc glucose in our blood balanced, uh, balancedly increase or decrease. So it's important. And when sugar mo moves from digestive tract and digestive system to bloodstream, bloodstream is condolishma uh, here. Your body act uh, or make to transfer it into your tissue. So in tissue we uh, process this sugar and we use this sugar to make energy. And also we have insulin, that's a kind of hormone and we gain it from pancreas. It is important for us to make sugar management. And when you eat and your blood sugar rise, so insulin in your blood also rise. Secret, uh, secret means release salgulamak. And it prompts, prompts here means encourage, maybe let. And uh, it make your muscles and fat cells uh, let glucose, take glucose in and jump. And then they start to convert into sugar. Uh, convert sugar into energy. So we use uh, sugar to get energy in our muscle and fat cells and the degree to which a unit of insulin and uh, it is about the insulin sensitivity and it's a, a unit of insulin lower the blood sugar so it shows our insulin sens sensitivity and if it is uh, there is more units of insulin it shows our sensitive also uh, is more bigger and if insulin I insulin sensitivity goes down so insulin increase uh, resistance increase I can say and if that means we have insulin resistance and here we stopped tomorrow I will start transit here and we will finish probably and actually we certainly finish tomorrow okay now let's talk about the hobbits here we start we translated the 41 41 page and it's about it's a song so I actually I couldn't understand deeply what this song means but I translated the words so you also think what does this song means mean and for ancient you know ancient old king and elvish it means elf uh, lord there are many gleaming gleaming means shiny golden hard means reward or hard means define and shaped shape you know that Broad here means processed and uh, tattoo also it other meanings is tattoo and here gems means mujahar and hilt means the uh, words uh, sap means it means sap collision supper hilt that's also an interesting word for me and there are only a silver necklace you know necklace and it's a secret string like it's kind of weird the necklace and flowering it's a kind of it looks like flower at its star on crown crown is the king's hang uh, on their head and then dragon fire you know dragon fire twist twist means like a wire twist like this in twist wire there is a dragon fire and mesh means get together get together light of moon and sun 
so we get together these lights so it means it's really lightning light day you can say and uh, misty here puslu uh, it means uh, there is a mountain it's a cold mountain the weather is cold and you can't see far away from you so there is a dungeons means zindan it's a kind of jail and cavern uh, kind of cave mara and air means before and uh, break of day i translate this like uh, evening and to claim claim means once we want our gold because the dragon was in our house in dwarf's house in the mountain so they will go to fight with the dragon and here goblet goblet means kind of glass you use that to drink wine and you carve means oil map but uh, to make goblets it's a making process we can say that they do it for themselves the harp is a instrument musical instrument but it's made in gold uh, made from gold <coughs> and the word delves means look for look for deeply delves and lay means there uh, many long and many song there there means in the mountain i think in those areas song means sings uh, past form unheard uh, means if you can't hear it's unheard if you didn't hear it's unheard man else man or else something like that it's there are the uh, weird and interesting words actually and if you understand actually i want you to write on comment section what did you understand from this uh, song so we can criticize on that and i want you to write on comment section what did you learn today see you tomorrow bye bye